And as promised, Space Marines, we are back in against the moon. We are not quite done with this game yet. I do want to try a Luma run here and just, just, just dive in. I've talked at length about against the moon. I don't think we have to dilly dally much longer here. So what is this? Select auditory to, to, to change. Select auditory to change. I see. Oh, we have an upgrade here that we can play with. So this is the starting cards that we get for playing this champion. I see. I think. Ah, uh, let me see. Unstable Mesh, Tatalo, and Virtualize. Oh, I like that. Otherwise, we can get Remuro, Tactic, Unstable Mesh, and Defense Drones, which, which can become into the tactical drones that I really like. We haven't played much with the uh, Amara, Queen of Arcs, so I think she, we should have her join us. Initiation Stun, this minion. Naga, and Brutal Strike. We have Masoon, which is the Doomabot deck, and do we have enough stuff to warrant a Doomabot deck? I mean, upgrades in the research tab, I think we had some good ones, so let's, I would like to go full on in on trying a Doomabot deck. And then we will run Amara, and I don't like Sophia, I'll be honest, but here's a, a thing that we haven't seen before, Sirin. Reduce Luma cost of random power in hand by one. So it's a one cost minion then, which is not that bad. Pulsar F, initiation game one energy. And then the Firgo symbol, right. Which is quite nice. Sophia is very much about drawing cards in different ways and playing around with energy and Luma. Which is my usually favorite tactic in these kinds of games. Hmm. But I think we would change you out for and the upgraded Galdia here with the Virtualize. But that doesn't really combo with the Luma bus that are so cheap and you want to cook and summon a ton. So maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe actually that works really well with a lot of card draw, the Luma bus. And then over here, yeah, I don't see that being bad necessarily. And with, with a lot of low cost cards, we want to be able to draw more cards. All right, this is how we do it. We can reshuffle it up here. Oh, randomize it, I see. Oh, and I can also decide what lanes they go into, but I don't think that that's actually super important. Each lane are sort of independent of each other. For the most part, I don't think I've interacted with anything saying specifically if, if in middle lane or if in bot lane or if do something to lanes above or do something to lanes below. It's always there like independent. Of course, the enemy will be playing in specific lanes with their things and then I have to react. But that's that I think would be random in the non-scripted playthrough. So let's just start and see if I'm right. So this is what a playthrough looks like. We have used charges to scout area. I'm clicking and nothing is happening. Ancient technology of the sarcophagus accumulates charge during the mission. Spend plus one charge after each battle. Uh, plus one charge after battle with Furus Delecti. Plus one charge for sector boss. Okay. And then we can spend them on various things such as scouting the area. Charges, use charges to restore arcs HP. It might carry over. Then, and then use charges to bite Furrow's Delector into the next battle and double potential rewards. What? To bite? Oh, uh, I, th I think it might need to say bait. <laughs> so I'm, I think there's some translation errors in this game. I don't know what, what um, language leave the, the developers are, are, are native to, but I, I, my bet would be that it's not English. Because there's some slight translation errors here and there for the player that we've encountered. It's fine though, we will try our best to understand what's going on. Here we are being rewarded with an Arcana Cell and a Metacube start event. Alright, and immediately we are meet by, meet, met by a Shibo. Which if we kill one of them, we kill all of them. And they are killing Amara. Amara has the Queen's Dance, gaining 3 attack on one turn and 3 attack, 3 HP, and fights the enemies with the highest HP value. That's very cool. And she's the only champion starting with 2 attack, by the way. 
which is also nice. They're dealing four in that lane. And we have six. Mm -mm -mm. We don't have any powers. Or are these considered, considered powers as well? I forget. I'm not going to chance it right now. So we can play the unstable mesh. And then another thing in the bot lane to keep the unstable mesh. Which would be really nice. Six. So the four and two. Probably this defense drone then would be fine. Do it. Oh. Go. We didn't kill with that. And they put in another Shibo in front. That is slightly annoying. If I can get up to dealing five or eight total damage, they would all die though. And we can by playing the Naga. And if I play the Naga, it's not enough to keep the mesh alive. Now we have a tech tactic in hand. I'm going to try playing a Siren. And it reduces the cost of another minion. So it, a power is a card, right? I uh, was not sure. So then I think we play that one. Leaving me with three Luma. Oh, and now we're not killing this one. Are you kidding me? Ah, <laughs> I misplayed it. Stupid. Okay. Let's play a Naga. Yeah, the more, exp the more expensive Naga. That's so bad, because now we're going to take six in this lane again next turn. That I didn't have to take. What a misplay. Huh. And now we're losing the bot lane again, so we need to play more into that. Another mesh. Would not be enough to save this mesh, but then we can play another thing. Terrible, terrible play. Everything else is looking kind of decent. And this sheep will die at least as well. Okay, so that's something. So we need to think about this Cess here. If anything. I think I'm playing in bot lane. And then this one here will allow me to keep the other mesh. Or I can kill kill the cess and clear their board. I think I like that more. But still a really bad play last turn. So now we've cleared it up and maybe we can get through this. And then Marosi this the sadistic here is at 14 already. That's nice. We can start playing ultimates, which means that the Queen's Dance here will make her dance up and kill, try to kill the Shibo, and she will not succeed. So it kind of seems irrelevant. We can get a Luma bot here. Brutal Strike, Pulsar F, a Moro Tactic, or a Pulsar F again. Pulsar F and Pulsar F. Now we can't do both. We can play Shield Drone here. And then a Pulsar F there. And it will stay alive. And we will deal a ton of damage. Getting rid of the Cess. And turn. We're almost killing the Shibo. The aggressor here stuns itself, which is kind of interesting, so it's not really super useful here. We can use this custom construction up here to save the bottom lane. The Queen's Dance doesn't really work here again because we would damage this Shibo, and this one up here, if we kill that, it ends anyway. I think we're doing the custom construction to defend bot lane. It's going to generate some shields for us. Very good, it's even gonna survive. And then if we could do one more damage, we would 
kill that one too. And we can. We can do... Uh, oh, here's an even better play. We will leave this Shibo alive at 1 HP, so that next turn I can kill it with the Bluebird Strike after more Shibos are summoned. So I'll post our F in the bot lane then. And then we can put Aggressor up here and it stuns itself. That's fine, it's going to start attacking with good stats next turn. No more Shibos were summoned, obviously, so uh, I will still destroy this one, getting rid of both. We should play the Theogos symbol, and then I should have done it first. An Aggressor. We can do the Remuro tactic here. Twice. No, not twice. Just once. And then, like that. Oh, we can kill the Cess just by using Amara. Is that what we want to do? We got the Rage Cannon next turn, which I think is better to save up for. And I'm sure we will have lethal here either way. Yeah, this one deals H damage to the leader anyway, so just play the Rage Cannon. Kamehameha! And it only spends six, I see. We learned something. Victory, getting a ton of stuff, an architecture's element, which I don't know what is, and a sarcophagus charge, which we just read about before, so we know what that one does at least. So the Arcana Cell is a new card draft. You can get a Glob Warp, summon Corrupted Glob XX, where X is equal to the amount of Luma plus one. Use all Luma. That is kind of nice, I suppose. Consume shields, destroy up to three shields in the squad. Until the end of turn, target minion gets attack. Mm -mm, I never like this one. And Maxwell's secret, not a big fan of that one. I'm probably going to shuffle this. I'm hoping for some Luma bots. We didn't get it, but another Syrian. I think the Syrian is actually really good, because it's basically a one cost to one unit. And that's pretty nice. Protect. Flesh target of Tori gains 3 HP. That's also nice. I'll get the Siren. And here's a progressive bot. Oh, hold up. We didn't get any Luma bots at all at the start of the game. And so why is that when we added Masoon? I thought that would be included automatically. Interesting. I'm not sure what happened there. So we are not playing Luma Bots. Soul or then no the progressive bot is still a good card. It's a 3-3. Because it's not there's no other Luma Bots when you play this one. Yeah. So let's get that one. And a mutation. And Alconost on top of the Siren would make it into initiation. Luma cost of three random powers in hand is reduced by one. And it costs three. So now you're paying zero for a 2 1, which is fantastic. Pulsar can be an, an ice pulsar giving more energy. The mesh here is initiation gain protection 10 2, which is fantastic. And we can get the tactical drones up. I really like the tactical drone. I will get one here as well. It seems to be my go-to play onto the map. I'm sure we can squeeze in another battle here. Yeah. So now we got a charge. I, none of them seems to work here. What was that other thing that we got? Didn't we get one more thing? Ah, I see. It costs eight charges to scout an area, two charges probably to get the arc XP, and then five charges, and we only have one. So here we get a meta cube, remove power, or arc XP up, meta cube one, sarcophagus charge one. Do we want to remove powers? I don't think so. I will go for two meta cubes. 
Uh, this one leads around up here to this one, and it's an Arcana cell, and down here we remove a power and, and gain a Medicure. We can remove one power, that's fine. So here we are. Oh, these guys. Triboxer and Zenmorta. I, I hate them. <laughs> With a passion. Uh, they grow stronger when we play certain types of cards, and there's one for each type here. There's two for the minions, so I would love to play less minions and more normal powers, but I don't think we have that ability right now. And we're taking damage everywhere. This is a bad start to this battle. Three and four doesn't work. Four and two works, kind of. So a Pulsar. It's gonna die because they go up in strength. Which sucks. You can put the aggressor up here. But then we take even more damage on Amara here. What a bad start to this fight. Oh, what? I... Whenever you play Magicka, try walks against one attack. Why did it gain one attack then? I didn't play any Magicka. I don't understand. Oh, was it a two attack from the start? I messed it up. These guys started at one, so I, I misread it. Well, another bad opening turn. Let's see if we can pick up the slack here. I think we are losing this one. Huh. Well, that's kind of interesting. Akuma Tribunal. Oh, if I play one minion, this guy dies. That's the way to counter or play around those guys, is to kill them by over over summoning. And if I play one, one, and one, I kill that one but make this one super strong. So also something to consider. How much would it go up? Three more into five, and so I would need five HP in front of her one in order to survive with her, which I don't think we've got. And we can put up three, four, four HP here, which is then not enough. So three and three though, Let's do that. Now we're protected in this lane. We're taking two on Sophia, and we're taking two on Masoon, which is both fine. We can play the Naga, and then we can play it up here to kill that one. Or we can play it here to kill this in Mortar. And then I still have the kill on this one up in the next turn by playing three powers, which I think I like. Magicka. I should call it Magicka, because that is the terminology of the game. Oh wow, do we have four? I would probably do with the drawing here. So if I play four Magicka this turn, they all die. And if we can draw into another one, then we die, I think, because then they will all be attacking with extra. But let me try. Didn't get it. Didn't get it. Wow. So now we're taking eight in this lane, and if I play the Ramuro tactic now, we would take ten in that lane. Maybe we don't have that much magic in the deck. I wish I could look at my decks during a, a doing a battle, which I've tried multiple times. Maybe if I right click now, yeah, no such luck. Okay, I screwed that up. So if they do it in eight. We've got two, four, and five, and we need to tank four more in order to not lose Amara. We've got a custom construction, altar future. And that is probably how we do it. We can also make Amara fight one of them by doing the Queen Stance if I play the Pulsar F. But that would also kill her. So we're doing it with the Custom Construction. 
Does that count as a magicka? By any chance? No. Too bad. Now we are surviving every with everything. Everything is fine. Crisis averted. Then uh, we will play all the Sirin. Or just two of them right now. Okay. I mean, I really thought we had lost there, but we eked out a victory from that somehow. Now, we don't want to play minions if we can avoid it. Can we avoid it? We can play this one here on one of these, and then if I play three minions, we would also kill one of these, but the other one would grow stronger. Up to four attack, which is not super bad. Can I play three minions? One, two, and then no. Unless this one makes something else cheaper, but then I still don't have enough of the Brutal Strike, so it's a moot point. Maybe we don't play any minions? We could just play one expensive one, like the Unstable Mesh. We're already dealing two to this one. If I play it here, with, what, three attack and one attack, and it's going to go down four, so then it dies. And then we can play the Brutal Strike here. And we don't need to play the Remuro Tactic right now, I think. Well, it would save the Siren. Which is actually kind of nice. We have one extra damage in that row next turn. Let's do it. Alright. Hmm. We're running into the same problems again. I can't kill any of them by playing stuff. And if I play anything, they get stronger. But we have a shield drone, a defense drone. That should be played, I think. And then if we play one more thing in here, we will kill that one. I can do that in another lane. Right now we're losing the Siren. If I play one more unit, we would also lose the defense drone, the unit or power. But that's kind of fine. I'm gonna play the mesh in the bot lane here. And now we have lethal next turn. So it's fine. Regardless of what happens, we win right here, I think. As long as I don't lose... I don't, I don't want to take damage on arcs. I'm kind of worried that it would carry over to next battle. But this is enough to win. Oh no, it's not, huh? But it is if I deal these guys have moon shield. Never mind. Then like this, lethal go. We also had some ultimates to fire off if we needed it, but everything is fine and dandy. Oh, ah, you can skip by the rewards, by the way. But we will see the rewards anyway. Here they are. The another unstable mesh at Lumabot or Ego Collision. Target minion gains one attack and then fights the creature in mirrored position. I kind of like that one. I'm sure we can make some good stuff with that. Good place. And it's one permanent attack for one uh, energy, uh, one Luma either way. New mutations available. What happens if I want to upgrade that? Cannot, but the Brutal Strike can become a Goddess Authority. Do two damage to target minion and two damage to the first leader. No. I would like a uh, an Elkanos now. What about the Lamia? All creatures in the squad gain plus one attack until the end of the turn. No. Yeah, let's get an Elkanos. Just one, I think. Making our deck more Luma efficient. Oh, we can make an aggressive four. Oh, with even more attack. It's cheaper. Comes in with more attack and less health. But still stunned. That's really good. Really good stats, though, for one energy. One Luma. I keep calling it energy. 
I think that is what I want. That's cool. It might backfire because it can be tricky to play it right. But I think it's cool. Alright. Meta Cube, an Arcana Cell, or... This one is a longer path to the boss, which I think then is better. Going long way around to collect more stuff on the way. Alright, let's just dive in. New enemies again. We've got Funga and we got Muso. Script deal one damage to arcs for each Fungari in your hand, and there will be these Fungi here. We have the Alchemist, and we have a tactical drone. Hmm. A loyal tactic, aggressor, aggressive bot. I would love to put stuff up in the top lane, and even the tactical drone would be nice. I just don't want to lose it. But if we play the Alkanos in front, it'll work out just fine, I think. We should always play that one. It cycles into the deck when it dies, and then we can draw it again, and we need to play them as much as we can, because they're basically free. And if I play this one here, now we will not take any damage on the tactical draw. Also killing the Muso. Lovely. Another Muso joins the field then. And we've got trouble in the bot lane. Now we're losing the tactical drone, which I do not want. The progressive bot would tank that. Uh, we do a sh defense drone up there instead, and then kill all the Fungari down here. Which ones became cheaper? I don't think we can see here which ones are cheaper now. I should know, of course, because of course I know my deck in and out and know what all my things cost, right? Uh, we are gonna lose... We can fight in a mirror position here, that doesn't really help. But we can do that here. Uh, that doesn't really seem good either, overkilling it. A Remuro tactic on the one in back. Up here. So shield drone there. The Remuro tactic on you. I guess the Theogos simple or an ego collision. Now this kind of makes sense. Doesn't it? I think it kind of does. And then we still have one for the aggressor. And we kill that one. By doing it, so now we put the aggressor in the center field. Alright. We are building up our board now. We had a have a ton of Fungari, which is bad. But we only take the damage when we reach the script on these guys. So if we can avoid it by killing them, then we will be fine and dandy. And we can. We will play a Naga here. And then probably a Fungari in front. Let's go for the Fioka symbol first. We've got an aggressor instead, and I prefer that, I think, up here. And then another vehicle symbol. Good. We are owning this fight. We've got lethal, so as long as I don't take damage, everything's fine. And we avoid it by just playing the Siren. Here. Play this one there. A Fungari there. Just to spend this stuff in case something weird happens. And there you go. Fight one? Yep. Nice. Okay, so it starts relatively easy, but I'm sure it'll get more tricky. And I shouldn't skip the rewards. That's my bad. Trying to play a little bit faster for you guys. 
progressive art, Ramona tactic, or another Theogos symbol. Hmm. With all the cheap stuff that I have, we have. And then I think we should get another Theogos symbol. Then there'll be... We're not lacking for cards, but it might come around to that point. I'll get it. Samora Law, and of course, uh, and the Duma Converter. All right. Yeah, yo, I'm starting to think that probably what probably the the damage on Arcs will not carry over between fights. We didn't see that at all in the scenario, and it would be weird changing up the rules like that. I'll get the Duma Converter, sacrificing a bit of a damage on Arcs for better plays, and then. Another tactical drone, or we can upgrade this one. To, the, my, the unstable mesh is my big damage dealer right now, so upgrading it into a mesh seven twenty twenty uh, seven twenty two makes it do less damage and cost way more. I don't like that upgrade at all. Where do we get more damage if I upgrade the Lamia? Oh yeah, okay, that's not too bad. Or we can get another Alconost. Now that we have more card draw, that kind of makes sense. Who's it? I like that. All right. And so I think we will cut it here. Thank you guys as always for watching and stay tuned for the conclusion of this run. See you next time, guys, and bye-bye.